In iOS 8, Apple has made it slightly easier to access certain contacts. Now you can access contacts through your multitasking tray, which was introduced uh, in the iOS 7 version, where you can swipe through your open applications. Now right above that, they've made a little more use of this empty space here and added your recent and favorite contacts. So I can see the contacts that I've communicated with most recently, as well as contacts that I've marked as a favorite in my contacts app. Now you can mark contacts as a favorite in the contacts app. There's this add to favorites option. So uh, that's how you add it to that list. And with these little bubbles up here that you see, uh, what you can do with them is if you tap on one of them, uh, let's just tap on my mom, you can choose to call that person uh, to I, either their numbers that you have stored in their contacts, so I have access to uh, their mobile number or one of their work numbers. I can open my text message conversation with my mom. I can start a FaceTime video chat. Well, everything just disappeared. There we are. <laughs> Let's go back to that. I always say it is a little buggy. I can start a, a FaceTime video chat with my mom, or I can start a FaceTime phone call with my mom. So those are the options that it gives you for all of the contacts that you have in this in these little bubbles up here. And again, if uh, you don't, if you have a contact up here that you kind of want on speed dial, but it's not showing up in your recents, you can add it to your favorites list, which is very nice.